A while back, my wife caught me a gift for Father's Day. It was these beautiful noise canceling headphones. Now they sound wonderful and feel just as good, but the pair that I have right now, they were defective. Now, luckily the company status, right? They have a really good return policy and they sent me another pair, but they never arrived. Now I tried reaching out to the company, but they insisted that they sent new pairs and it was marked as delivered and that I should probably ask my neighbors or check the post office. So it looks like I'm stuck with these busted pair of headphones and some hurt feelings. I, I know that it's not necessarily the company's fault and I'm not upset with them, but I, I felt some type of way. Now I'm no Mark Rober, so I'm not gonna go and try and rickroll my ops. Instead, I kind of want to just have an awareness of what's happening. I would love to know when things happen around my mailbox. Um, I know that I don't expect to stop anyone, nor do I want to put my life on a line like that. So really, I need a way to get notified when the mailbox opens and closes. But all the sensors and devices that I know of won't really work without me paying for like range extenders or heavily adjusting my infrastructure to allow stuff to reach it because it's just too far. But it's funny how these things work out though. Out of the blue, a friend of mine and a coworker from my previous job randomly reached out to me. He saw my YouTube channel and wanted to just catch up and talk about our experiences with the smart home space. But he's been tinkering in the smart home space for a very long time. Like he's been doing it as long as or even longer than many of the goats on this space. So it definitely piqued my interest when he dropped this gem, the answer to my problem. Pavel, I wanna thank you, my guy. Like, really, it, this, this helped a lot. So this is Yolink, a device capable of receiving sensor data up to about a quarter of a mile away. So I got this bundle, which gives me a receiver and two door sensors. Uh, you can check the link in the description if you wanna try this out for yourself. Now the setup was really simple and I was able to get everything up and running within under five minutes. Okay, so I just set this up. It was incredibly simple. Uh, connected this to the Wi-Fi. I could also connect it via ethernet, but I just tried the Wi-Fi for now. Um, it's powered, it's connected. I also have it connected within Home Assistant, so Home Assistant can see it. I don't know why it shows door. I labeled it as mailbox door, but um, but yeah, let me just explain what's going on. The setup was super simple. They had instructions, but I didn't even need to read this. It's just very intuitive. It just works straight away. Um, pairing it was simple. It shows up via the cloud. So Home Assistant connects to the service in the cloud, which is unideal. I'd rather do it locally. I'll check to see if it has like a local connection, but either way it's connected. So I can run automation space off of the open and close state of the sensor. So after installing the sensor in the mailbox, I also set out to subscribe and like this video. You saw what I did there. If you're here this long, I assume that I must be providing at least a little bit of value, even if that value is simply providing background noise to the soundtrack of your life. So here's how I use the YoLink device within an automation. I'm gonna show you in this diagram how this works. So that way it makes a little bit more sense when I get to the automation within Node-RED. So we have four states here. Uh, the mailbox can be within the empty state, delivered, retrieved, and forgotten. Now, the actor can be myself or the mailman, but realistically, it doesn't matter. What we're really caring about is whether or not the mailbox has been opened and the state that it's in. So when the mailbox is opened and it's in the empty state, we're checking to see if it's in the middle of the day. Now, typically the mailman comes within a specific window of time. So if it is within that window of time, i.e. the middle of the day, and that's a yes, then that means a mail has been delivered. Now, mind you, I want you to realize that there's a lot of edge cases that can happen. For instance, my wife and I can just go and check the mailbox like at a random time in the middle of the day before the mailman comes, and then that would technically count as delivered. But I'm not counting for any of those edge cases because realistically, we always forget the mail. So um, yeah, this is... a uh, the likelihood of that happening is very, very small. All right, so if the mailbox is open and it's in the delivered state, then that means one of us has went to pick it up. So we can count it as retrieved. If it's the mailbox is open and it's in the retrieved state, nothing happens. We'll just leave it at that. Uh, lastly, we have this forgotten state, but I'm gonna come back to that. 
So at the end of the day, at 7 p.m., the automation kicks off and it checks the states again. Now, two things can happen here. If we're in the retrieved state after the 7 p.m. automation kicks off, then that means the mailbox is empty. So we set it to the empty state. That way it's ready for the very next day. However, if we're in the delivered state, so the mailman has delivered it, but none of us came and opened it the second time to retrieve it, that means it's in the forgotten state and the mail is still in the mailbox. So this state will carry over from that night to the very next day. And there's an automation around that forgotten state to help remind us to go and get the mail. But um, let's assume that we never picked up the mail for that day and the next day occurs. When the mailbox is open, we have this special case exception that's happening now. Because we're in the forgotten state, we don't know whether or not myself or my wife is picking up the mail or if the mailman is dropping off the mail. Now, I brought this conundrum up to the channel members. Hey all, can you help me solve this particular problem? I, a while back, I showed you guys an automation for a mailbox, uh, being able to just know when you get alerted when you have mail. Um, my mailbox has four states, one when it's empty, one when it's mail is delivered, picked up, and forgotten. Now, I have automations to handle the other three states. The one that I can't figure out is what happens when it's forgotten. So let's say on day one, the mail is dropped off. By 7 p.m., no one picks it up. The system flags it as forgotten. The following day shows up. What happens? How do I account for when I pick up the mail versus the mailman picking up the mail? Because if it's in the forgotten state, I can't determine or it's hard for me to know who was actually picking up the mail. Is it the mailman that's dropping it off again? Or did we pick it up? Because, yeah, so there's there's that conundrum. Uh, the stipulation with this is that you can't use, I don't have access to any other tech or sensors or anything that can determine the difference between the persons. Um, and I don't want to also cover cases that are like, out of the ordinary. So for instance, someone stealing the package or anything like that, or the mailman coming twice in one day, like those are out of the ordinary. So in a regular sunny day scenario, what kind of logic can I use within the native home assistant that can help me solve that particular problem? One of them had a very clever idea to use the door as a way to determine whether or not one of us has picked up the mail. So what we're doing is if the mailbox is open and we're in the forgotten state, we're gonna check the door sensor for the front door. If that has been opened within a specific window of time, let's say about five minutes, then we know that one of us has picked up the mail and we can put it to the empty state. Then when the mailbox is opened again, we're in the empty state and it's the middle of the day, we know that the mailman is delivering it. So the system has corrected itself. Let's say that we have still forgotten the mail and the front door was not opened, but the mail was delivered because of course the mailbox is being opened. Then we know that the mailman most likely has delivered this. I'm sure you guys have a very discerning eye and realize that there's a lot of gaps in this. For instance, what happens if myself or my wife had left the house and the mailman comes during that time? Technically, it's gonna be counted as empty. Additionally, there's other scenarios where things can happen out of turn. So for instance, someone coming to steal the mail. I'm not counting for any of that. I don't want this automation to become too hectic. I just need a very simple way to check whether or not the mail has been delivered or picked up or if it's empty. And then we have systems or other automations around these four states that can let us know whether or not we need to get something or whether or not something has happened. Because let's assume that, let's say someone is stealing the mail, that the mail has been delivered and someone opened the mailbox right after and took the mail. All right, it wasn't one of us. The system shows that the mail has been retrieved, but if it shows that it has been retrieved and both my wife and I know that we haven't retrieved it, then we know that there's a problem. Additionally, we have an automation that's going to look at every time the mailbox is open and record that area. So we can easily see that, hey, it said it's retrieved at, let's say, 3 p.m. And we can look at the camera logs at 3 p.m. and see that, hey, it wasn't any of us. It was this rando that did that. So this system is serving its purpose quite, uh, quite well. This is the automation that I have within Home Assistant and Node Red. Let's start within Home Assistant. I have here the mail status helper. With it, this is where I define the four states, retrieved, delivered, emptied, and forgotten. Same thing that you saw within the diagram. Within Node-RED, 
we are looking at the YoLink sensor. Whenever the sensor is tripped, whether it's opened or closed, this particular trigger will activate. So let's say that we open the mailbox, we're gonna get the status of the mailbox. And that is one of the four states that we've previously discussed. We then get the status of the front door. And then we have the switch statement that switches based off of the four states. So let's say the door was opened we get the status of the mailbox, it's empty. We get the status of the door, and because it's empty, we're gonna head up to this top path. We're first gonna check the time, and if we're within the time that we specified, then we're gonna set it as delivered, and then we're gonna send a voicemail to the house. I'll talk about this voicemail a little bit later. So let's say that the status is delivered. We're gonna now look at the door and see if the door was opened or closed within the last five minutes. Now, this wasn't in the previous diagram that I showed, but after going through it and considering the idea that the channel members up gave, I thought it was a good idea to have this here as it did help against some edge cases that I was thinking of. Let's assume that it is less than 300,000 milliseconds, which I think equates to about five minutes, then it will go through and we're going to set it as retrieved because that meant that one of us has opened the door to the house to come and get the mail. And then the last state is this forgotten. And like I mentioned with the forgotten state, if we are in the state, we're going to utilize the door. And if the door has been opened, then that means one of us has came to empty the mailbox. So then we're going to set it to empty. Otherwise, if no one had opened a door within the last five minutes, we're gonna set it as delivered. In either case, we're able to reset the system to the appropriate state so we can be properly alerted. Now, to kind of cover all of those edge cases and those gaps that this doesn't cover, we have these two, I guess, branches that kind of come off. Here we have a cooldown. This is a leading cooldown, meaning that this node will fire immediately. And if we get any other messages within that 15 second cooldown, nothing is going to happen. Once this fires, we're going to take a video of the front door. I believe the video lasts for about 10 seconds. And we're also going to send a message to K so we can be alerted. This happens whenever the mailbox is open. If the mailbox is closed, we're simply getting this close alert. So it says that the mailbox is closed and that just can set to K as well. So that way we're alerted that the mailbox was also closed. This last automation here is similar to the diagram that you saw at the bottom with the time. At 7 p.m., we're gonna get the status of the mail, and based off of the status, if it was, let's say, delivered or forgotten, we're going to set it to forgotten. The last date is retrieved. If it's been retrieved, that means that someone has picked it up and the mailbox is indeed empty. So we're gonna reset it for the night and set it to empty. This voicemail automation sends a message to the house and it cues the message. So that way, whenever we enter the master bedroom, it'll play, but only when we enter the master bedroom. When I created the voicemail automation, I was thinking of like landlines. So when people call the house and you're not home, but realistically this works the same way with cell phones as well. Whenever anyone tries to call you and you don't pick up, they can leave a voicemail and a voicemail allows you to listen to that message at a later time. This is the same concept, but for a smart home. So if the smart home has messages that it needs to send to you, but you're not there to hear it, it sends it to voicemail and later on it will play it for you when certain conditions activate. Channel members, you did get a sneak peek into my thought process behind this, um, but for everyone else, I'm coming up with a video soon that goes into depth as to how this works. So I'm really happy with this automation. It's simple and I get alerted whenever there is activity around my mailbox with a message message and also video. If you would like to have early access to some of these automation ideas and be a part of the conversation, I would love to have you guys join the channel membership. Just follow the arrow.